Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mephisto. Hello Randy. Where are your friends, Bob and Sue? Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica with Mephisto. So, I've been kind of... Again, I've been playing way too many PC games and I haven't played a good, um... <clears throat> like, console game in a little while, but... PC just has a lot of different options available. Yes, I know, Randy. What the heck is that? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Those things are not good for me. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remain. But I found a life pod out here, apparently. Haven't even gotten coordinates for this one yet. Hey, there's Randy and his friends. But yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to play a little bit of Subnautica. And I actually do have, just so you all know, I do have the last few episodes of um, Undertale recorded. I just haven't put them, I just haven't thrown them in the, together in the video editor yet and chosen what parts go where. Caution. Mild dehydration detected. Fluid intake recommended. Yeah, crap. I also did, by the way, go into my um, files and delete the... There's a special file that... What the heck? I'm going to guess that... Ah! Go away from me. You're a jerk. I'm gonna guess that Life Pod 7 is not enabled, or that. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Or that they're not enabled until you get the coordinates for them, but. Right now. I died last time, if you all remember. I, like, I had to kill myself actually last time that I did this. Um, because I could not get away from the Aurora. But anyway, they look like they're getting closer and closer to finishing this thing, like, every time I play it. Um, every monthly update just brings us closer and closer to an actual fully released game, which makes me really happy, because I am absolutely adoring this. I absolutely adore this game. This is where I came that one time, there were the things on the inside there that kept shooting at me. Um... Let's see. It's good to be back playing this game. It's good to be seeing you all again, talking to you again. Uh, this week actually has some really interesting and uh, slightly challenging changes. For instance, one of the big things that's, things that's going to be changing is that I am starting school uh, for computer science. this spring semester and so I will be uh, I will be maintaining uploads oh okay. ah. let's just go ahead and get out of there caution 30 seconds of oxygen remaining <laughs> I don't even know what that was. It was like we were on the Aurora again. I think it thought that, I think it was kind of counting that as part of the Aurora. Oh yeah, and the reason I'm not using this thing... Oh well, I guess it does kind of have a battery left, doesn't it? Whoa! Hello! I might die again. Crap. I will need to get bladderfish. Yes, I'll need to get bladderfish. Bladder, 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 fish. Ah. All right, so welcome back, everybody. I have got food and water. Now we're going to listen to this message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over yes, yes, I read, I read. Oh, wait, this is a communication device. Still nothing. These old terror ships, they've run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help? They don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? <laughs> yes, yes, I need this. Try them again tomorrow. <laughs> no, so don't. The picks up in the meantime, damn charter's going to have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. You know, you suck. 
Captain Avery Quinn of the uh, of the Thunbeam. I don't even need your help. I've got other friends I need right here. <laughs> Isn't that right, uh, uh, Gary? Gary Gasbag. Oh wait a minute. No, you're you're Gary. Forgot about that. You're Gary the Gary Fish. That's Garrett the gas bag. I almost forgot about that. Isn't that right, Peter Peeper? And and Gary the Gary Fish. <laughs> and Bill Bladderfish. Come here, Bill. How about your friend Mephisto? <laughs> Sorry. Lost my mind there for a minute. Being on an island being on a planet alone for a little while makes me go a little bit stir crazy. It doesn't make me miss the milk of human companionness, but you know. Ah, crap. Garrett, stop farting everywhere. Jeez. Don't you know that's poisonous to everybody else? You killed Peter Peeper one time. Oh, shut up. It's not my fault that nobody likes you because you poop everywhere. Okay, there we go. Boink. 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 Oh, night. Boink. Boom. I need to start collecting salt eventually, so that way I can kind of have some salt for when I need to start taking food. I swear. Freaking Garrett Gas... Gas... Gas Bag. Garrett Gas Bag. That's his name. Shut up, Garrett. This is why nobody likes you. Whoops, I did not mean to heal myself right there. Maybe my... Make it fabricator? Yay, it has a new one for me. <laughs> and under most normal circumstances, I would, uh... I would definitely... Nope. And since, also, since I'm, uh, I'm gonna be going back to school, I am gonna start recording large, like, long, not really long episodes, but I'm gonna start, like, doing multiple recordings in one day. Ooh, cop- ooh, yay, wait, that's actually- This is a necessity. I don't need lead, however. That you can shove up your butt. Ooh. This place is creepy. Huh. Look at that. Hey, Gary, come here. So, oh crap, almost out of oxygen. See, it, it doesn't always, yeah, I know. For some reason, she doesn't always say 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Developers, please look into that. I don't know if it's just my version or if it's all versions, so. Definitely check with other people, because I might be the only one having this problem. <laughs> In fact, I'm probably the only one having this problem. <laughs> I'm so weird. Where's my where's my little drop pod thing? Oh, there it is. So, because while I'm doing this, I'm also gonna grab the fire extinguisher because I didn't use it all up from last time. Oh, but yeah, I am gonna try to start. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing like more of these episodes at once. Oh my gosh, this thing has 100% fuel. Heck yeah. Oh, and that's a battery without a charge. Blink. Uh, All right, I have no storage left. Basically, the entire point here is build a habitat builder so I can start building my base so I can stop looking like a complete fool compared to pretty much everyone else that has ever played this game or has played this game in the last few hours. Hello, Gary. Oh, hello, Gary. Ooh, but man, this, this is why you shouldn't go into the ocean at night, kids. This the ocean's terrifying. Yeah, this game is not even yet. This game still is not complete yet. When it's complete, this game is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. See, why do you say it sometimes, but you don't say it others? What's wrong with you, Sarah? Oh.
All right. I'm approaching the Aurora's backside. Oh, that was the Aurora. I was like, is that some kind of new monster? <laughs> the heck is this? Vehicle upgrade console fragment. All right, look at that. Aha! Silver! That's something I need, I think. I had smashed this limestone. I'm going to be completely frank. I'm pretty sure that limestone does not contain ore like this. So kids, do not go around smashing limestone trying to find titanium. As I'm pretty sure that's actually a um, uh, compound. Basically two things combined. And uh, sandstone really does not have any of the things that it always shows it having here. There's rarely any silver in things like that. What the heck? Okay, so that's an invisible wall. Thank you, invisible wall, for revealing yourself to me. What is that? Uh, I'm break this. I'm gonna grab my titanium. I'm gonna move on with my life. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Y'all saw it too, right? It was like a tail fin jutting through the inky blackness. See, she's not saying it. Sometimes Sally says it, sometimes she don't. Seriously. Weird and slithery are like my two big turn-offs. At least as far as monsters go. But if you're a hulking roid, uh, roid raged maniac, yeah, you're, you're, you're a Jason. I can handle you. I can run away from you. But when I'm in the middle of an ocean, and I'm dealing with a giant slippery eel tentacle thing, ew, I can't deal with that. But it's not in an episode that I'm trying to do something important, which would be to start building my base. Now what, what? Who are you, and what do you want? Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Uh, okay, I okay. Didn't know. How bad? Uh, how many of... I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six-seater, and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this. Our pilot last attempt at a planet landing in the Academy Simulator. Oh, it's a bad situation. But so are all the alternatives. Alright, thank you. Bye. Nobody, nobody cares. Nobody likes you. You're kind of a jerk. I don't know. You're, you're coming to save me. You can't be all that bad. Oh, right. My table. Man, when I go, I go hard. Mm, yay. Okay, now let's see here. Nope. Not to, Ooh. Nope. That's not what I'm looking for. Nope. Nope. Ooh, Gravisphere sounds cool, though. Uh, personal tools. Habitat Builder! Ah! 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 extreme environmental conditions. Nice. I'm gonna grab all the, I'm gonna grab all this. As much of it as I can, anyway. I don't think I can take it all. Pretty much all. Alright, so first I want to build a foundation. You can't have a good home without a good foundation. Put another one. We need, we're gonna need a few foundations, but that's gonna come all, all that's gonna come later. These big foundations are gonna come later. Some observatory, no. What was that? Okay, so now I need, no. Uh, no, I need... Ah... Uh, what under the room? Ah... Uh, say what? Let 
into the friggin' room. Get away, all of you. I'm doing things. Blueprints. So I almost have all the parts of the sea moth, which makes me really happy. The thing that makes me really sad is I'm pretty sure the part that I don't have is going to be down where that other guy is that I don't like. Hot. Literally the only thing I have... What? I thought there was something called a multi-purpose room or some crap like that. Hmm. Well, that irks me just a little bit. I'm about to supposed to scan that. Emergency. Ten yeah, no, I'm going back up. Shut remaining. up. I'm willing to bet that I was supposed to scan that when I was back there. And I was a dummy and forgot. So for now, what we're going to do is... We're going to do... That. We can't get inside of it yet. But that's the beginning. That's going to be all for this episode today, everybody. I'm getting a little bit braver each time, so... Thank you all for watching. I will go mess with him next time. Thank you all for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then smash that like button. Leave a comment. Share this episode to friends, family, gamers, anybody else. And if you haven't already, then consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the fun things we'll be doing in the future. Anyway, I've been Mephisto. This has been Subnautica. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, look at that, actually. Hold on. Whoa. What the heck is that? Y'all see the moon down there? Is it the clouds on a island? Because there was an island over there that had clouds on it. There's something over there? Because that moon, or this planetary body normally doesn't... Like, it, it's normally not corporeal. It's normally, like, intangible. So the other moon shines through it, but this time it's not. But, uh, those clouds are, uh... Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Later. Save there real quick. Later.